Hey guys, welcome back. It's Valeria or Florence's UV over here. And so this is my first Halloween look. I hope you guys really, really like it. This is my Scarecrow recreation. I did get my outfit from Spirit Halloween. So if you guys want to recreate it, you know where to get the outfit from. Just to give you a little sneak peek. What, girl? I was about to take pictures and I was like, bitch, hold on. I got, I forgot to do my intro, so here I am. Um, I hope you guys really, really enjoy this look I just want to show you guys just like a close-up of my eyes look at that beauty hello hello cut crease yes glitter yes look at my lips oh so pretty but yeah I hope you guys really really enjoy it and if you guys recreate this please let me know please tag me and all that please like comment subscribe and let's get started on this fucking video happy Halloween guys hope you guys enjoy it bitch it's time to get spooky hey guys welcome back and so let's get started I already have my eyebrows done and I'm just gonna zoom you into my eyes Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is use my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden and put it all over my lid, you know the usual. And I'm just going to blend it out with a beauty blender. I'm going to use the Masquerade palette by Juvia's Place and I'm going to use the shade Zulu with my MAC 217 and all I'm going to do is just make sure that I tighten it on the outer corner and just start as like a like wing it out because I really want to do a I want to do a cut crease and so I'm just going to pack in my darkest color so make sure when you do a cut crease is that one of the so this is going to be somewhat of my transition and I'm going to add another transition on top. So I'm not going to bring it any, any, like I'm not going to bring the color above my crease. So just make sure all, most of your eyeshadow goes down on your lid. All I did was just add some tape because I feel like it's going to be a little bit more easier for me just to get everything mapped out. So just go along your, along the tape and just wing it out. Now for my next shade, I am going to use Fulani from the same palette and I'm just going to pack it into my outer corner just to give it a little bit more, more of a transition shade and to darken it. All I'm really doing right now is with the Fulani shade is just making sure I go in the crease and I, that's where I pack the most punch of the color. With the same brush, which is the BH Cosmetics 8, number 8 eye brush, I use the shade Obsidian and put it on the outer edge as well. And I'm mainly going to pack that color in. And then again, put it in the crease. But for this one, I'm going to use my Morphe E11 flat shader brush just to make sharp lines and everything. And I'm going to tap that into my crease so it gives me more of a defined look. And then going back with my number 8 brush from PH Cosmetics and just smoking that out a little bit more. So now a little tip when you're using multi, like the same brush for multiple colors, all you gotta do is buy one of these little bad boys. They're like meant to swipe the excess amount of like color and then you can reuse it again for another different color. If you know what I mean, if that makes sense. So with my, my BH Cosmetics 8 brush and my, I'm gonna use the shade 
Zulu from the Masquerade palette and just put it a little bit on top because I felt like it's losing itself. Don't worry that it's so sharp right now. We're gonna get that all blended out. Okay, so for my Zulu palette from the Juvia's Place, I'm gonna use the orange and I'm going to put it above the Zulu eyeshadow shade. Don't get confused. Now, because I want this to be really, really warm toned, I am just making sure orange pops out and I'm blending everything so it looks more smooth, more seamless, and keep it into the scarecrow theme. Don't worry that you brought it too high and you have that harsh line because we're going to put a brow bone highlight. So with the blending brush, I'm going to use my T59 and I'm just going to blend out the outer edges. Just so it looks more smooth. And see how that makes such a big difference. And then just make sure you keep going back and forth in adding your eyeshadow just so you can make it more pigmented and you know you're gonna keep going back and forth on brushes so you can blend out everything and it looks really nice. I like to bring it inside my nose bridge just because I feel like it gives you more of a defined snatched look so that's what I'm just doing right here bringing the excess orange down into the nose bridge. Going back again with my Morphe E11 and the black eyeshadow from the Prism palette. All I'm going to do is just to find the crease again and just keep on adding some black because I feel like it got lost with all the blending. Now with my BH8 Cosmetics brush, I'm just going to lightly blend that out. And then go over it with just a tad bit more orange. On the outer edge, what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of the Zulu eyeshadow shade from the Masquerade. Just because I feel like it's not that blended. And so I just wanted to make it more smoky, more blended out. And that's what I'm just doing. So I'm going to finish doing this eye off camera and I'll be back. Okay guys, so for my brow bone highlight, I'm going to use the color Pyramid from the Prism Palette of Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to put it all right here just to give me that subtle bronze glow. I'm just going to use my Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer in L34 Light and I'm going to cut my crease. For that, I'm going to use my Makeup Shack T37 brush just to cut that crease. All I'm really doing is just putting it in the back of my hand, the concealer, and then I'm going to fully cover my eyelid, most of my eyelid. Make sure when you are going to do a cut crease that you fully cover your your brush and concealer it makes it a lot easier to cut the crease so then what I like to do is just make sure I look up put some a little bit on my lid and make sure I look up so it tells me where my natural crease line is Instead of swiping, tap. When I came to Spain and I saw people partying, I thought to myself, what the fuck, what the fuck, all day, all night, all day. With another brush, another concealer brush, all I'm going to do is tap the outer corners just so I can blend it out. So over my Kat Von D Shea and Light Palette, the Glimmer Palette, I'm going to use this Black Onyx and I'm going to use that on my outer corner just to 
give it more more light and more deepness and I want it because I like it I like the shade because it has a lot of shimmer in it so I just want the outer corner to give to be more sparkly more glam and I'm using a makeup shag T2 I'm going to go back into the mascara palette and use the Casablanca shade. And I'm going to put that all over my lid. And the first thing I'm just really doing is stamping in the color. Then I later I will blend out. I'm just... I want to pack everything where it's supposed to go. See how it looks. And then, you know, get the gist of it. I'm going to use the shade Prism from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism palette. So with my BH Cosmetics number 9 brush, I'm, and it's like an eyeliner brush, I'm going to tap off the excess first and I'm going to make my outer edges a little bit more sharp and dark. So, you know, this is a cut crease, so you need it to be defined. And that's all I'm doing. Just where the concealer erased too much, too much of the black, I can just add on the black and it looks defined as fuck. Okay, now we go into the blending of the eyeshadow so it doesn't look so sharp and ugly. I'm just going to use my, my BH Cosmetics eight, number 8 brush and I'm going to just blend this out. Then back with my pencil brush, I'm just going to use Les Casablanca. Tap off, the, tap off the excess and I'm just going to be patting it so whatever pigment got lost, I can just add more. So now I'm just looking down into a mirror and I'm just making sure everything looks nice and blended. With my Physicians Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Eye Lash Boosting Eyeliner and Serum in Ultra Black. I'm just going to make a very sharp line. Now for the last thing, I'm going to use my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liner in Midnight Cowboy just to make a line above the crease. I'm going to do my face, my base makeup, because we have so much more details to do, so I'll be back. Okay, guys, so my face is beat. As you can see, I see highlighter, I see blush and everything. So um, just to give you a quick rundown, all I did was my basics, and I just made sure I looked a little bit more tan, a little bit more bronzy, and so that's my main focus. As of right now, what I'm thinking about doing, actually, is... My lower lash line so I can just at least finish the eyes I'm gonna zoom you in real quick I'm gonna get my morphe m169 which is a pencil brush and I'm going to just pack orange all under my lower lash line so now with my t59 I'm going to just make sure I blend it out really smoky and really seamlessly see look how pretty that is a clean blending brush is your friend for these types of looks they help out so much they make they complete the look with my T2 brush I'm going to tight line my outer edge just to connect it um I actually really like how the orange looks I wanted to keep it more simple so I'm just going to bring it into a third of my eye and then with a clean blending brush just make sure you blend it out For the lower lash line, I am going to use Dirty Talk ColourPop Cream Gel Eyeliner and I'm going to put that all on my waterline. Mainly why I decided for this color is because I do want to keep it in the warm tones. For my inner corner, what I'm going to use is my Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter and uh, just use a clean pencil brush just to pack that shit on. 
Okay guys, so I did my eyelashes off camera and I did like this little creation so I'm just going to show you what I did. All I am doing is using again my Fisherson's Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eye Serum and Eyeliner and Serum. And I'm just going to mimic like if I was wearing fake eyelashes kind of like a drag person. So from the outer edge just kind of make your line. For the next thing, out of the picture, I'm going to do the nose, which is like a little skeleton nose. I saw some other pictures, you know, and it's not my favorite how they do that, like, fucking carrot nose. So, I'm just going to do my own thing, you know, and go more with a skeleton look. See, I don't like that. So, next thing you need is we're going to use my ColourPop Swerve Gel Liner, Cream Gel Liner. I feel like this is a good one because it's not as pigmented and it's a little bit thinner. So, we're just going to trace it and I'm going to fast forward through this. I'm just going to use keep using my phone as a reference. So, I'm going to go looking up and down, up and down. So, I'm just going to, you know, look at my phone and then look into the mirror and do it. So, just kind of trace it freehanded and... Don't stress out about it. That's the main thing. Take your time. That's the main thing. Since I have that all shaped out, what I'm going to do is, with again, with my T2 Makeup Shag Brush, I'm going to blend out the cream eyeliner. And this has no product on, so it's going to help out a little bit to not pack the punch. I'm just going to be very careful on the outer edges. So I want to do a twist to it. I actually want to add glitter. So I'm thinking about just packing up some black eyeshadow on it first before I do anything too crazy just to see the how I like it alright guys so as you can tell I'm putting NYX glitter glue on the back of my hand and what I'm really using is a craft glitter and I got this back in Hobby Lobby um, just to let you know I didn't have any like really black glitters for eye usage so that's why I'm using craft and I'm just using my E11 again just to mainly get the edges of my nose and there you go that's how it looks oh my god i love how the nose looks it looks so glam so pretty so that's the whole point is a glam scarecrow and how do you add glam to it you just fucking put glitter on come on dude i'm going to zoom you out real quick and we're gonna do the lips together okay so the two liquid lipsticks i'm going to use is my kat von d liquid lipstick in the shape witches which is the black and then I'm going to use my Kathleen Lights collab with uh, Ofra Cosmetics, which is called Miami, Miami Fever. I think it's a very beautiful burnt terracotta color, and it's exactly what I need. When you think you're recording, but you're not. So all I did was just use Miami Fever on my lips, and I'm just going to finish doing it right now on camera. So just with witches, make sure I'm using again my E11 brush and I'm going to just decide where I want it. So I really like how it came out. All I did was just mainly more out of different from the picture is that I outlined my lips, which I think look much cooler. Um, again, with the picture as a reference, I do like how she has chunky, gl chunky glitter. Unfortunately, I don't have chunky glitter, so I'm just going to use light glitter. As a guide, I'm just going to use this and just, you know, make 
like a line to see how I want it. What I'm using is my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Heavy Metal Liner in Midnight Cowboy. I'm gonna go with Candy Coin from Eye Candy Cosmetics, and I'm going to use their Sugar because it gives them more of a liquid form than like the glitter glue from NYX. Okay, so then just with the glitter, I'm going to add more. These are the lips right here. More glittery, more fun, more Halloween. All right guys, so this is the final look with my little hat, my, no, my little choker, and this is my scarecrow recreation. I hope you guys like it. Happy Halloween, guys. If you guys try to recreate it, please let me know. Tag me. This outfit was from Spirit Halloween, so if you guys actually got super inspired, go to Spirit Halloween. They're super cute. P.S. guys, I'm so sorry about the lighting. Out of all days that I recorded, I used natural, sun um, natural sunlight, and it's fucking cloudy, so there's that. That was wonderful. I love the look. I love how it came out, and yeah. All right, catch you guys on the next one.